Either that or they're going to electrocute me. We must reach the objective of veins and... Ginger meets Dr. Thomas Ludikia, one of the few vascular surgeons in the world who will do this procedure. Excellent. So you're happy then? Yes. Me too. Okay, so we'll see you on the in the suit. Okay. Right. Thanks. So uh, we are in in the right jugular vein. The technique is borrowed from routine surgery to open blocked arteries. Uh, so we'd like to check in the right jugular vein. Here we can see the outflow goes quite smoothly through the valve and uh, this one as well. But it's bad not, news uh, for Ginger. The, the there doesn't seem to be a big uh, problem in her right jugular uh, vein. It's, maybe it's not necessary to put the stents here. Okay, look at, uh, to the left on the screen. Here, oh, wow. this this not huge stenosis. In so there's not much to fix. Stenosis, Doctors anyway, will use a balloon to open the vein, even though it might not like stay open, but they balloon. decide there's no Maybe need for a stent. Ginger is here. disappointed. Well, it's just, a, it's concerning, right? Because I can't afford to fly back here every few months, right? Now we, we inflate the balloon. The balloon improves the blood flow immediately. So you're already noticing the blood is going fast? Yes, 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 and we notice, yeah. But the re result is excellent, I think, after the ballooning. I've already noticed my left baby finger that's constantly numb is not numb any longer. Then they check the left jugular. You can see there's completely different situation. This of time they see a problem that didn't show up on any of the earlier tests. At first moment the blood goes up to the brain. It's not the usual situation. It should be, go down to the heart. So a reflux, the, the, where the, the blood is going the backwards to the, to the brain, into so the brain. Oh, uh, yes, we know. There's be, behind your ear, there's some, some yeah. pain. Yes, okay. This matches the theory that blocked this veins cause blood to pool and damage the brain. Well Ginger's case is one of the most serious uh, they've procedure. seen. Okay. Can you show us the reflux? Can you actually see yes, the reflux? Yes, yes, yes. It shouldn't be going up. Yes, it shouldn't. It, it should go down. And that's what could be causing damage to the brain? So, you know, this uh, blood is going up, and then the, uh, the, the, uh, the blood is looking for another way to uh, outflow. It's that blood at the top is looking for another way out. Exactly, exactly. What yes, we are discussing about uh, what we should use here. So, strangely, you're hoping oh, yes, that certainly. they find something wrong with it. Yes, because if they don't, then what's left, right? You know, you hope for uh, so this the is worst. good news. This is good news. <laughs> so it looks here. like we're going to stand. Yes, we are going to stand here. I think. Yeah. I mean, it's good news in the fact that now we can maybe fix it, right? Whereas before, there was no, there was no hope at all. Yes, we have implanted the stent, and now we'd like to check uh, influence on the outflow. There is no reverse flow. Uh, the flow is directed uh, to, the, to the heart now, the stand is in a good position. And the reflux? The reflux gone, has gone. Ginger, we are ready, are you happy with that? We are done? Yes, we are done. Yes, very, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. The whole surgery lasted about an hour. The entire operation was less invasive and less painful than getting a tattoo. So how do you feel? Um, good. Um, little sore, um, really not bad <laughs> in the scheme of things. Do you feel anything different? Do you feel any sensations? Um, yeah, these two fingers have always been numb. They're not numb anymore. I have feeling in them again. Is it a sign that her MS is improving? No one knows. The research hasn't been done yet. Do you think that reflux is causing the MS? Um. We are not sure about that because uh, we must uh, prove it. To prove it requires rigorous scientific studies which have not yet been done. Here they only have patient anecdotes of warmer hands and feet and improved energy. But Ginger is content to be her own case study. So in other words, finding this means you fit the theory. Yeah. If they hadn't found anything, that would have been a disappointment. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So now yeah. what? Well, hopefully, I'm just going to start getting better and better. It's another beautiful day in Katowice. Perfect for some sightseeing. And Ginger is ready to go. 
But first, she leaves behind a picture she painted to show her gratitude. For Dr. Simka? For Dr. Simka. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. In closing, Steve and I are heading home in a couple of days. Each morning when I wake up now, my first thought is CCSVI. I am not on death row anymore. I have been liberated. Well, wow, remarkable access you had there. Mm -hmm. But that last shot was about 10 days ago. What's happened since? Oh, I talked to Ginger this afternoon. She feels great, she says. But the most important thing that she's noticed is that the limp that she had is, has completely gone. She said the neighbors didn't recognize her when she was out walking the dogs. They thought it was her daughter because she was walking so easily. So she's having, she says she has more movement. She doesn't feel the same stiffness. The numbness she describes still, still is, is not there. Her entire left side of her body feels better. She um, went to her family doctor and he did a balance test which he had done before and he felt that her balance had improved and he felt that that was uh, enough of an indication to suggest it wasn't just a placebo effect which is part of the problem with this procedure the symptoms are so personal for each patient that only they can say what's improved and they all recognize there's a risk of um, this being uh, a, some kind of a placebo effect feeling better because they that something did something and they want to feel better in a sentence what does this mean nobody knows the research hasn't been done, but there's some more research coming out this week. They're starting to do some of the preliminary studies, so we might have more information. All right. Kelly, fascinating piece. Thanks very much. Our health reporter, Kelly Crow.